This is so stupid. I swear to God, yeah. Here, get the tripod out of the back of the truck. How about here? What? How about here? Why do I have to do this? It's not the tripod. I don't want to. Well, I need a way to start my movie. I thought this would be a perfect way to film a sunrise. Retarded. You got this set up right? I don't know. Let's try this. Now we just wait. Screw you. <laughs> you know, one of these days when I'm dead and gone, you'll look back on this moment and think, I remember. What the heck was he thinking? <laughs> you'll look back fondly on this moment and say, I remember when my dad made me watch the sunrise. This beautiful out. I have seen another horizon And I have seen the stars in the sky And this old world It just keeps on turning I don't know. I've debated about who this story is really about. I really tried to not make it about me, but in the process of the journey, I discovered the reality which was always in front of me. And I realized it is about me. It is about his mother. It is about his sister. Nice hair. Thanks, Dad. My dad is videotaping me talking to me, and I'm not kidding. It is about his brother. Are you taking me? What are you doing? Coloring. It's about sunrises and sunsets. It's about grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles. It's about teachers and students and therapists and attorneys and doctors. It's about lost souls and inner peace. It's about happiness and sadness, triumphs and despair. It's about realizing the bed of roses you are laying in provides you the opportunity to stop for a moment and embrace both the pain and the beauty. It's about being pushed down the road less traveled. It is about hope. It is about peace. It is about rain. I can't there. It's just not my turn to wonder why. All right. Smile. When I think of you. What do you mean? I'm so confused. Well, Rain is our middle child. Uh, he's 11 years old, almost 12. He'll be 12 in November. When he was an infant, about um, three months old, he was shaken by a caregiver and uh, he suffered brain damage, which uh, caused, um, and still causes, both mental and uh, physical disabilities. Rain is probably the biggest challenge of my life. He's amazing and yet incredibly frustrating at the same time. Rain is my brother and even though he has some problems with his brain, I still love him and he, he is, I love 
I love him to bring my brother. Yeah. Rain is my grandson. He's mentally and physically disabled. He was shaken by the babysitter when he was two and a half months old. Well, I pray for him every day. No, he's fun to hang out with. Yeah, you're not. Okay. Well, we just had. Um, sometimes he can be really stubborn if he doesn't want to do his work. Um, overall, he's pretty good. Makes mess when he eats. Can you show everybody how you can say grandpa? Say grandpa. All right. Pa. That's better, yes. Um, I find it easiest just to focus on one day at a time with him because if I think about what happened to him and why him and all those other things, it's just too depressing. Rain is, I think he's a wonderful boy. He makes me smile. He, here he comes. <laughs> Anything you say, he repeats. Anything you do, he does. He knows just about everybody's name. When you walk past him, he repeats it. We all love him. And I love him to death. Do you love me? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Were you scared to be with him before? Yeah, I really was, to be honest. <laughs> I was, because I like, what am I supposed to do? You know, I don't didn't know how to react around him or anything. But now that I work with him, it's pretty easy going. And you're fun to be with. He has many friends. Every time we're anywhere in school, walking down the hall, everybody talks to him. One more time, and we're gonna go. And then you have to go to. There you go. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. I don't play with Rain very often. Thank you. Why not? Because most of the time he bugs me around and stuff. Rain, go play. Yeah, go play. Move. Move. You know, Rain's got an awfully good life. <laughs> you know, the kid doesn't really have to do anything. He's so charming and loving. People just love to do everything for him. Oh, you want to do the Pledge of Allegiance? Not oh, now. Not now. Okay, we'll do it later. But, uh, you know, the world's great according to Rain. Um, Rain loves music. That's the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of Rain. He, um... Doesn't speak yet, but he makes sounds. He loves music. He loves to sing in his own little way. We love to sing. We love to dance. We sing a lot of songs, don't we? Sometimes I can't tell what songs he wants me to sing, so I just guess. It's kind of cool to play music with him. Hey, you can make. Says old man a lot. Sings row 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 your boat. He likes to sing, like that kind of stuff. He's fun and loving and caring and interested in things. Um, he's very busy. He likes to be moving and going and doing things. He's a normal kid, just wants to be busy and active and into things like any other boy I know. Brain is part of my family, so I love him. He's, he's got a great life, at least as far as he knows. This is it. I don't get any other questions. Every morning, we are greeted by a literal knock on the door to begin the morning. For his protection and ours, we lock him in his room at night. This story began 11 years ago on January 23rd, 1996, when our son, Rain, was shaken by a caregiver, resulting in extensive and permanent brain damage. This is my truth, my emotion, and my vision, and has brought me here today. Since we could find no other options, we went forward, and now 12 years later, Rain starts a new chapter in his life as he prepares for his first day as a sixth grader at Gretna Middle School. For ourselves, for his sister, and his brother, and for him, we have tried to create a world of normalcy. 
We did not want to, we tried not to, punish the siblings for having a brother with a disability. He is still in diapers, and on this particular morning, he leaked through. We can't find diapers big enough, and the incontinence things are too big, so we have some problems with leaking. Over his 11 years, we've gotten very good at doing laundry. You gotta sit up. Good morning, Manny. No, one, I'm gonna put a limit on one sock puppet per morning. Every morning, every night, every day, somebody has to take care of him, change him, dress him, feed him, clean him, and this will be the case for the rest of his life. I gotta go wake up, no, no. No. Good morning. Don't touch the car, it is covered in mud. So we load up and we head to daycare. But how will we get in if we don't touch the car? Well, just touch the handle. Finding normal daycare that would take rain had become a challenge. Luckily for us, we found Missy, who had worked with rain at school and agreed to take him. She'd watch him before and after school this year and transport him up to the middle school. Rain has a dramatic impact on everybody he touches. What are you doing? This is Rain's first year at Gretna Middle School. He primarily works in the base room and they try to mainstream him as much as possible. Georgia rides the van with him and walks him into school in the mornings. Georgia helps out a lot. I've always worried about how she would be treated at school having a brother with a disability. So far, things have worked out. Rain was a sort of pseudo-celebrity at Gretna Elementary. Going to middle school poses new challenges both in school and with students. Why do they put? Why do they push the wall? Um, it's a sensory activity, and so it helps to calm the sensory system and to 
get all the sensory processing going correctly. Okay, who's ready to share first about what they did last night? Nice job not putting your hand in your mouth, Rain. Rain, what'd you do last night? Pizza. Time for calendar, you're right. It is not time for music. No, even if you say please, we must do calendar first. Oh, I know, all the work. Food, fight, food, fight. Rain, what sound, what sound is, you do have the little one. What sound does B make? Buh, buh, good job. Okay, use righty to catch. You do it again. Got it. And I'll have you oh, over there for right now. Is that going to work out all right? Can you sit in the rocking chair? Rain on many occasions has been interviewed no for local TV shows and has become a spokesperson about the evils of shaken baby syndrome. Here, KETV Channel 7 interviews Natalie as she answers a few of the most common questions we get about Rain. How much, how much time did that babysitter get? What kind of punishment did she get? She was sentenced to 45 days in jail, two years probation, and another 45 at the end of her probation. Um, I believe she actually served 30 days in jail and two years of probation. Why? Uh, it's really complicated. <laughs> um, we knew after he was injured that we could be facing a significant amount of medical bills and other care for him because at the time we didn't know what his prognosis would be. We didn't know if he'd ever walk. We didn't know if he'd ever eat on his own. Um, so when we met with our attorney, um, he advised us that if she was convicted of the felony, if we took it to um, a jury trial and she was convicted of the felony, that we would get nothing from her insurance and um, that the misdemeanor we might or might not get any settlement from her insurance company and if they drop the charges we'd have a much better chance and uh, the county attorney was unwilling to of course completely drop the charges because as a society we have an interest in punishing people who do this kind of thing but uh, she was eventually charged and pled guilty to the misdemeanor child neglect and that was the punishment that went with that is it, is it like having a toddler? It's like having a toddler who's large enough to get into more serious trouble than toddlers can get into. Um, he, he doesn't have any sense of uh, self-preservation or consequences. So as a result, he doesn't understand things like burners on the stove are hot, um, knives are sharp. Um, he doesn't understand things like that. So it's, it's a constant monitoring. That can actually be pretty stressful that you always have to watch. You're always on. Yeah. yeah to yeah. see what he's going to get into. We have to lock the door to his room at night. No, I understand. Because he's actually gotten up in the middle of the night and gone into a bathroom, turned water on, wandered around the house by himself, and to protect us and to protect him, he has to be secure at, at night. No. Did you ever get a sense of exactly what happened in this scenario that made her do this? Um, he was in the home daycare and it was uh, time for him to be fed and they, the daycare provider had a schedule of you know, the, she'd feed the um, little bit older kids breakfast uh, while he was sleeping or while the babies were sleeping and then while the, the toddlers were playing she would feed the babies and then put them back down and feed the older kids lunch. So she kind of had the schedule set up and um, he would not take the bottle when it was his time and that was going to kind of upset the schedule for the day and um, make it hard for her to get everybody fed. And so she got frustrated with him and she shook him, threw him down on a bed. So and that was about nine o'clock in the morning and she contacted me about um, 3, 3.30 that afternoon. To, to say that he would not wake up. She waited that long? She did. I'm not sure she knew anything was wrong. Uh, yeah, he, he was unconscious, but it probably looked to her like he was sleeping. But at some point in that time, uh, she tried to feed him again. Uh, he wouldn't wake up, and then he was moaning. And um, that's he started to, to get a, uh, run a fever. And 
was looking really pale and clammy. So she, I don't know that she connected the two uh, right away, but she knew something was wrong. And swelling over, was it 90% of his brain tissue? 75% of his brain tissue. 75% of his brain tissue, his, of his brain tissue uh, was swollen. Was uh, damaged. Was damaged. Uh, the swelling then over 10 days or so started to abate. Uh, they watched him for quite a while to see if they were going to need to put a shunt in to relieve that pressure. Uh, he had a uh, subdermal hematoma on the right side, uh, and he had bleeding behind his eyes, which is one of the telltale signs of chicken baby syndrome, is the bleeding in the rest. His vision is affected now. His vision is very affected. Um, he doesn't see a whole lot out of his right eye. Uh, <laughs> um, his vision has been best described to us as like kind of having black spots in it. Six, and then you guys will be on Tuesday at six. See him dancing? <laughs> With the help of Paras, Brain attends homeroom every morning. Rain, question. Do you, do you want to do your book presentation too? Should we do the limbo with the kids? I think we're going to do the Oh, look at Cody! Oh, look at Cody! Oh, look at Cody! Oh, look at Cody! Oh, why? Yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. And you plus, we have to yeah. we get to listen to music a whole lot. <laughs> you do this every day? Pretty much? Homework's done. <laughs> okay, yeah, we gotta get going. <laughs> okay. Rain's homesick today. He woke up. He didn't feel good yesterday. He woke up this morning. He said his tummy hurt. And so, it's the afternoon now. We split. Time. My wife takes the morning, I take the afternoon. We each take a half day off of work. Well, tell me how you feel. Okay. You feel good? Uh, does anything feel bad? Nothing feels bad? Does your head hurt? Does your shoulders hurt? Your hands hurt? They, your hands hurt? Do your, does your stomach hurt? Mm. Hey, can you point to what doesn't feel good? Your knees don't feel good. Obviously, he's feeling much better. There's really not a lot of words to this. The huge elephant carries Santa. You know. What, you don't want me to read? Uh, I'm trying to think of a song to say. Uh, about, she came into my room. And ask me where my stuff had gone. I don't see what the point is to keep going on. I can't stand the person that I have become. Yeah, too many times I let myself be undone. Answers to my questions always dissipate. Flashing lights of freedom just can't escape. Looking back, all my rights turned out wrong. Yeah. Tomorrow, you and I are going to meet at the Med Center at two, a little before 2.45 so that we can have an appointment with Dr. Ginsburg to discuss the untranslatable report he sent and what it means for Rain for surgery on his leg. We need to decide with him whether we're going to do surgery or not. Rain can't make that decision, so 
He doesn't need to be there. Right. But his nurses know me, and they know that I don't have very much patience for that. So maybe, maybe my past uh, displeasure at having to sit out here and wait will get the same quicker. Are you actually filming? Fine. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing. Yeah. If we have authorization for that or not. We don't. We're, we're just doing us. We're not just doing, doing us. Like up and, and, you, down the and we need a release form from you. Can we get it? Rain has had four different surgeries to date to help straighten out his foot and release his muscles to help him walk better. Increased antiversion of his right femur. What's the antiversion? 0.7. Okay. And his thigh foot angle here is. Uh, probably not as external as it should be. So the intoning that he does on the right side um, is partly due to his femur, partly due to his tibia. Um, also, he's got tight hip flexors on the right, and he's got pretty tight hamstrings. Yeah. I'm missing something here. I want to make sure I have everything. We have spent many, many, many hours in doctor's offices. We have decided on another surgery for Rain. The hope is he won't need any more after this one. But it seems that there's always another surgery waiting. Very good. Now come back here. Come on. You can walk to mom. He has no clue what's in store for him. Here we go. Right in here. Right, oh, right here. No known heart problems, kidney, no liver problems, seizures. Uh, when he was, the first couple of years they had him on phenobarb for seizures, but he hasn't had him. I don't know. On phenobarb, no seizures. Has done well there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, his communication is what he hears or observes other Go away. Doing. Okay. Did you just tell me to go away? He just told me to go away. Did he? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yes. He says there's too much no. paparazzi around here. Yay! <laughs> it's too he says you're interfering with my flirting All right. with the doctor. And the Bye. He transferred the anterior tibial tendon outside and the outside of the foot which took away a lot of this and then I lengthened his posterior tibial tendon which was very very tight okay. um, and that was a separate incision behind here so we still made four incisions one to harvest the tendon one to uh, route it down to the outside of the foot so one two three and then the fourth one was back here so we didn't need to open up the back at all but he did great you know okay. Green is just okay. he's a tough kid Hi, baby. Oh, he looks so pale. I know. Look at his lips. I know. Hi, buddy. Can you lift your hand or something? Can you wave? Hi. No. He just looks horrible. You okay? Hi, Rainy. <laughs> He raised his eyebrows. 
Poor little guy. So you slept well? Yeah, we slept about 3 o'clock. She came in and was, I think, changing the bag on the IV. Took a picture of him. Printed it out this morning. Go away. <laughs> you just keep telling me to go away all the time, don't you? Please. Please go away. <laughs> Well, that's why I Everybody. say, go away! Go away! Rich, go away. what's your way for getting How come you keep telling me to go away? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want you to take it. I mean, he's been telling me that since since we brought him here. Yeah, go away! Go away! <laughs> oh, this is a pain in the butt, isn't it? What? Everything. Yeah, the whole day has been Stupidest form ever. Watch this sort of accident really happen there. Oh, <laughs> he decided against it. Why don't you go down the hallway and see if you can find a friend? No? See, he knows everything I say to them. Alright, that's far enough. Come back. Come back. Come back. You go get him. Rain, come back. You send him down there. Rain. Rain, come back here. Rain, come here. I've filled out those forms before in the sloppiest handwriting. Nobody would be able to even read it. That just would be your normal handwriting. Okay. And when is your mom coming back up to do our laundry? <laughs> You're the dumbest man I know because you just don't know where to stop, do you? <laughs> you just don't know when to quit. <laughs> I don't think he cares. He just likes the attention. Just like eating crab legs, huh? <laughs> hi, Jonathan. Hi, yeah. Rain. We've said hi once. Now we're all done. All right. Now we can do it. We cracked the crab. Hey. Okay, I'm going to tilt this back. Ew. Ew. Yuck. Five. Five toes. Wasn't the surgery supposed to be done on his left foot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does that itch? I'll bet it does. Rub it. Don't itch it. Just because if you itch it, then you can tear the skin up with oh. your fingernails. Okay? All right, all right. He's helping you. Thank you. There you go. That's all your band-aids. Quit. And everything looks pretty much dry. All right, just rub. You're going to tear your skin apart. Rain, 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 rain. Just rub like this, buddy. Just I keep his fingernails so short. Hey, <laughs> it's killing you, isn't it? You okay? Take your boob, take your band-aids off. That's it. Ugh. Noah was very curious about what this would look like. I was too. Oh. Right. That's it. That's creepy. Yucky. Over by Hastings. Where is it that they live? I don't know what think of as. Uh... 
Are you gonna carve the turkey or are you just gonna admire it all day? <laughs> Connie? Yes? Do you want me to cut the meat off the drumstick or just put the drumsticks on hold? You just put the drumsticks on hold. Whatever will get you done the fastest. Because you're kind of piddling. Well, you know, it's not one yet. <sighs> Joyful occasions always create a new set of challenges. Daddy? What? Can I have some more chocolate milk? Yeah, you know where it is. That puzzle, if we do that puzzle I brought down, we'll have it together tonight. Wow! Mm -hmm. That's I'm gonna. Maybe you should try it on the other end. Good job. Oh, that's a good spot. We've lost, I've lost rain. Where is she live? Is she down the block from us? Free ball! Oh, I know this. Oh, you're not building the present. Where's the lucky duck? You have to have it in my hand. No, don't take it. You can help me open this. Um, it's on the box, and I have it. Ready? Come on, get some presents. Aw. Oh. I got a crappy letter kit. Stop learning! Yeah. Yep. And we crash! Ray, you found an egg! Keep no, looking. Can't eat any yet. Not yet. You see any more? Keep looking for the eggs. I'll go get them. Mm -hmm. One's furthest away from you first. Really? Yes. Oh, the daddy got it. It's white. Yeah. It is a crane of white chocolate. The issue is. Ray would like that home. <laughs> Mama! Yay! You want some or not? I'm working on it. it. Frustration. Uh, the biggest frustration is that um, one that they can't talk. He tries to communicate. I feel sorry that he can't talk and express himself because I think he would like to. I think he's very intelligent. I think he has a lot of comprehension, and because of that, I think it's very frustrating. I don't know. It's just the frustration of having a 13-year-old who is mentally five or six. So he gets in all the trouble that a toddler gets into, or a preschooler, and then some because he's so much bigger. So just, you know, he's in that stubborn thing and he refuses to do stuff and it just makes things difficult. Well, I'll have to say so sometimes Sometimes when you say, Rain, do you want to pick out a movie, he just, and you show him each movie, he says no, and then when he finally gets to a movie he doesn't like, he says yes. Sometimes he doesn't want to do his work systems, but that's about it. I mean, that's about the only frustrating thing when he doesn't listen. Either that he can't talk, 
or that he won't listen? Well, he just likes to have attention all the time. I mean, he, uh, even if he's doing something on his own, if he's reading a book or watching TV, he really likes to have somebody to sit on and, and uh, pester while he's doing that because it's just fun. You know, he is the center of the universe, you know. That's right. He is. Yeah, and he just has to have attention all the time. And if you ignore him, then he'll do something to cause grief, just so you'll pay attention to like, him. Like now. Like now. He'd <laughs> rather be punished than ignored. The, the, the idea that he needs constant supervision is, is very hard. I think the biggest frustration or my biggest worry when I work with Rain is his future. Um, I really worry that I'm not teaching him to sit still long enough or not teaching him what's dangerous and what's safe and things like that enough. Rain is so curious and so interested, so busy in what's going on that I just really worry that we aren't getting him taught enough of the safety things and that, you know, he's not going to be able to know what's an okay thing to go near and not an okay thing to go near without somebody real close to him. So I just hope we can work on that for him a little bit more. Just sometimes he likes to get into uh, the papers on the counter. I wish he would, um, it could be toilet trained. I think that would help the family and I think that would be kind of nice too. But uh, we'll see what happens in the future. I, I have a tendency to uh, want to always tell people, you know, it's not his fault. It's not his fault he's like this. He was a victim. He was a victim of a violent crime. And he's doing the best he can. And sometimes the best he can isn't that great. And for anybody that's frustrating. Don't take that. What? Be clipping my toenails. Why not? I, I don't like it when you do it anyway. I ask you not to do it all over the floor. You do it anyway. Why not just get it on tape? What's that mean? Does that mean I love you? My sister likes me. <laughs> and I like your sister. <laughs> what a bunch of losers. There you go. Yep. Hold on! This is a timeout! Okay. Because we don't have any armor or anything. You do. Hi, Dad. Hi, buddy. Can I have a hug? How are you? Um, it's lunchtime. Okay, Ash, let's go. Ashley has always loved rain. He's going to need a lot of Ashley's in his life. Go, go ahead. Well, yeah, I'm here. Are you here all day? I'm here for a while. Oh, man. Best of buddies. Okay. okay. I'm sitting on my lap. You're not a baby. You're a big kid. Work systems are just a basket that has stuff in them to start getting them ready for job skills or to work on fine motor skills or academic skills, anything like that. Um, you're getting a lot of stuff here. You're gonna have a lot of work to do. Um, are you trying to impress Mrs. Seamers and tell her what a good job you're doing? Yes, I see you, Rain. Mm -hmm. Thanks for calling my name. All right, pick it up like that. Good. Way to go. Keep working. You're almost got it. Oh, almost. Let's do it this way. Watch what you're doing. Eyes on the toothbrush. Oh, I think it's much tighter this time. Good. I like the way you're using the eyes. Don't put it in yet. We have to see what color it is. Very good. Red. Thank you. All right. One left. What? No, I want to know what color this one is. This is orange. Orange. 
Orange, good. Oh, wait, mm. is that orange? Mm. It is orange. Mm. What color is that? Mm. Blue, very good. Hey, why is dad doing your work? <laughs> You're supposed to do this? Well, you didn't tell me. <laughs> what you want to do? Do you want to go shred some paper? Okay. <laughs> How come? Awesome. <laughs> just gnarly. Well, thank you for saying that. Lindsay, right? You're in his homeroom too, right? So what do you think of Rain? It's fun because in the morning in homeroom, we get to listen to music and dance around. So you don't normally get to do that? No, other homerooms don't do that? I don't think so. Right. No, we don't. You don't? He loves me. We're trying to get him into that top soccer program. Yeah, but he he does push-ups and stuff like that in PD too. He's really good at it. He can do about five of them. Yeah, he, he had to do 20 sit-ups. He got started. He was really good at that. Was he really good at those? Yeah, he was very good at everything. That's, that's cool to see. Yeah. Cool to hear. And he walks with everybody. He starts to Oh. <laughs> How does he yeah. sing? Does he sing well? Yeah. yeah. Now I know you're lying because I know he doesn't sing well. Oh, he's good. <laughs> he's very good. He does his best. Does he yeah. do his best? He does his best, yeah. He's really, he loves everything. That's true. He loves everything that he loves to do. So. Well, and I appreciate everybody being nice to him. So that's nice. That's fun. I'm glad, you, I'm glad there's a lot of people that feel that way. Yeah. So that's cool. Thank you. Okay. I have, I don't, really, I don't, you don't have to answer. And for the first time while filming this, I panicked and turned off the camera. She asked me why Rain was the way he was. It never dawned on me that his classmates didn't know he was shaken as an infant. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. The sun's fading light is settling down And the shadows shine a light on you There's a window closing to my soul And there's a door and it's closing too The darkness disguises what I want And I look forward to seeing you I walk through the days and hunts Dad! Dad! I'm cold! Mom! Yes, I'm dreaming of loving you I'm dreaming of loving you I walk through the days and run to the night Cause I'm dreaming Dad, we're going to have to edit that part out, right? Yeah. As I, I picked him up from daycare this evening, I, through the window I saw him and another boy. They, one of them had a naked doll. One of them had a stuffed animal. And they were shoving him 
into Rain's face. Frustrating thing to see, especially when it's his own. When you're my own son doing it to my other son. Um, such a range of emotions of just being purely pure anger. Wanting to go in and there, and there, there's the other kid was probably eight years old, nine years old, and just seriously just beating the crap out of him. And at the same time, there's, a, there's an overwhelming sadness of um, having, knowing that uh, he's, Rain's going to have people pick on him his whole life and take advantage of him. And we could just hope and pray there are not too many. So now I gotta go figure out what to say to Noah. Because uh Tell me what you did today with Rain. Um, I you you were laughing and shoved going like here rain and he was eating them and we gave something to him and shoved it in his mouth. What did you shove in his mouth to give? What did you give to him to shove in his mouth? Toy. What kind of toy? A stuffed, a stuffed toy. And what about the doll? Doll, the doll. Um, they were like plastic dolls, and you're like putting them right by his face, and he like. Your rain, and then he like you're we holding it up, and then he was eating them. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. So I saw much. you do it through the window. It wasn't me so much, but then more. I just did mostly one. It's not his fault. He's that way. I know that. And out of anybody. You should be nicer to them than anybody else. Okay. You shouldn't be starting it. You shouldn't be letting other people do it. If you see other people do it, you need to tell somebody right away because he can't protect himself. He needs somebody to help him protect himself his whole life. You're gonna be a you're gonna be a big strong boy. Because when you do that, when you shove things in the rain, if you if you're mean to him. He's just happy. He just wants to be around people. And he thinks that's plain. And he doesn't know any better. And he's just happy to be with you. Okay. And, and that's why you can't be mean to him. Because you could do almost anything you want to him. And he'd be happy to just to, to be with you. Okay. Can you give your brother a hug? Big hug? Bigger hug? Real, a real squeeze? All right. Sure. Dad, I want to leave. You want to go where? The game. Don't want to. Well, you need to get your shoes on. My shoes are on. I don't nope. Have a Those are Lacey's shoes. shoes. Well, Lacey has my shoes. <laughs> Natalie and Georgia know it's a grocery store. Um, so we're here. We switch off. I took Georgia soccer this morning. Indoor soccer game. So we, uh, we live a lot of uh, separate lives together. Because we always need somebody to watch you, don't we? Yeah? How come? <laughs> hey, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> what are you doing? More. Is that better? You got a better seat now? Okay. You want to look? Can't you see from here? Yeah, I think you can. It's not too exciting. It's basically just... <laughs> no, it's just... It's just what we're doing right now. I mean, you don't even have to look at that. You can just live in this moment. Please. Look, just live in this moment, and you won't have to watch it. I know what you look like. You know what you look like. I know what I look like. You know what I look like. So I don't have to see that. We're just going to enjoy the moment. How do we do that? Mm. 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 <laughs>
Dad. Take the hat off? Dad. Why? Dad. You know what? It's really not a hat. It's the sleeves. Because the sleeves were too short. Because I'm fat. You want it on you? Well, where'd your hat go? Awesome. Also did a blue one. <laughs> blue one. You want the blue one? All right. There we go. Can I have the yellow one then? For the past 11 years, we have gathered two to four times a year with therapists and teachers, social workers, and specialists, and all sorts of people to determine how Rain is doing and what his future holds. This time, we are trying to figure out if Rain should go to a, a different school, a special school, specializing in kids with disabilities. We have loved Amanda, but there are days his behavior takes all her attention just to keep him on task. She does have other students. Hey, before we start, we uh, yes. to the camera. We have everybody kind of introduce themselves and what they do. We'll start with you, Amanda. I'm Amanda Seamers. I'm Rain's teacher. I'm Barb Barges, the physical therapist. I'm Sean Sila, occupational therapist. I'm Deb Seamers, special education director. I'm Barbara Rimmon, a vision resource teacher. I'm Paul Matisak, school psychologist. Cheryl McCright, Health and Human Services. I'm a services coordinator with the Age and Disabled Waiver. Uh, my major concerns for him is that he has made, I, I've been with him for six years minus last year, and he's made so many gains that I can see through that, but my biggest concern is if all of those steps have taken six years, and we think about how long we have until towards the end of high school, are we going to have enough time if we keep progressing at that amount of that time, pace. at that pace, are we going to have enough time to get him to where we need him to be, to be in a job, a shelter job setting or wherever we want him to be when he gets older? That's one of my big concerns. Um, another one of my big concerns would, is also then, um, I don't feel that we have the consistency to offer that maybe another place may be able to offer just because of our numbers and our staffing and so that for me is another big because I, I Mitch comes in and she gives me all these skills and we all try to do them as much as we can but I do it different than somebody else does and somebody else does it different than <laughs> in the end we've decided to take rain out of the Gretna school system and send him to Brook Valley next year there's always a fine line between hope and despair. You never want to walk too far on either side of the line. Eventually you find a balance and work on creating good in the here and now. And Ren and I are home alone. And we're home alone. The house is a disaster. Okay. It's overwhelming. Overwhelming. So I thought mm. that this would be a great time to make up a little list of. Uh, mm. Want to see the list? Mm. These are some things I jotted mm. down. Mm. Things I jotted down <laughs> just a second ago, so I wouldn't have to read them off paper on camera. But these are the things I jotted down. Uh, I wish my wish list. My wish list with mm. you. I wish. Uh, I wish <laughs> I wish I didn't have to change diapers I, I wish I could sleep in. I wish you didn't get up in the middle of the night. I wish you would get to sleep in in the morning. I wish even if you got up in the morning, you could take care of yourself. I wish I could find the DVD I can't find because our house is a disaster. I wish I could watch the TV shows I want to watch. I wish I'm nice that I'm stuck here with you that we could go out and eat. I wish that we could go do something. I wish I could just sit and watch TV occasionally. I wish you would not shove books at me. I wish I didn't have to constantly clean up. 
I wish I didn't have to clean you up after dinner. I wish I didn't have to change your clothes. I wish you could change your own clothes. I wish you could pick up after yourself. I wish I could go run an errand. I wish I could just go run an errand and come back in 20 minutes. I wish I could run to the store. I wish I could go buy something. I wish I could live life. <laughs> I wish I could live uh, just a little bit, have a little bit more normalcy. I wish um, I, could, I wish I could decorate the house. If you wanted. He wouldn't pull everything off the shelves and the walls. I wish I could just go hang out outside for a while. I wish, I wish I didn't have to clean all the time. Mm -hmm. What would you like? Yeah. A book. <laughs> no. Okay. Have you done this? What? Have you had your interview yet? Yep. What do you say to this question? I don't know. It's whatever you want to say. He just loves everybody. He's a social, social butterfly. He's happiest when he's around people. Of course, as we all know, I love to read books to him. Even though sometimes he starts to get too silly and wants to close the book before we finish it. But uh, that's my enjoyment with him, is reading books. To see him smile and laugh and dance when he sings songs and when he sees me getting him, whether it's taking him to school or picking him up from school, the look on his face when he sees me is priceless. That he is my brother and I love him. And why does that make you happy? <laughs> because he's part of my family. Mm. What? It's almost all gone. And what do you enjoy most about him? Oh. I know, you're pretty darn special. I think I enjoy just about everything about you, but I don't know. <laughs> just everything, I think, really. Enjoy just about everything. I think seeing how much other people adore him, you know, he just, people see him and um, who know him and, and they're always happy to see him. I mean, people come up to me all the time and they're like, hey, there's Ray and there's my guy. And I'm like, I don't even know who you are. So how can my son be your guide? But he just has that effect on people. So I think that's probably the coolest thing. Being here, I guess, maybe? Sorry. I don't know. It makes you focus a little bit more on, on the little things. Things that may not seem that important. Well, when I walk in the house, his eyes light up. His, uh, he gets all excited. The grandpa's here, and grandma too, of course. But, but uh, that's what's that's what's just a real joy. It's a real joy. Yeah, he's just he just makes your day and it makes you smile because he's always in a good mood and he puts me in one. And the simplest things make you happy. Is when he achieves something that we've been working on for a while. Um, we've been working on I just thought I'd try working on knowing to put a period at the end of a sentence, which is something that I honestly wasn't sure if Rain would be able to grasp that concept or not. And today, he and the last few days, he's been correcting me when I forget to put a period at the end of a sentence during calendar, he does it. And that just brings tons of joy to me is when I can see him doing something or learning something that we've been working on and he does awesome. That means it is Howdy and hot rain. Good job. What? Tell me again. Period? Where? Yay! At the end. Give me five for doing that all on your own. Thank you. Great job. 
I like to sit with him and watch TV with him. Actually, I like the book where there's a lot of songs in it because Rain does not recognize the fact that I cannot carry a tune. So I can sing songs and he just really enjoys that. It's what? fun to read books with him. I really like reading books. Read to him? Maybe. Biggest joy that he brings? Mm hmm. Like what? In order to understand where we are going, we must first understand where we've been, because the present is just a mirror of where we are. Good morning, Rainy. Come on. Good morning. Get out. What? Get out. What? Get out! <laughs> it lives. Light off. <laughs> In there. <laughs> right now. now what? Georgia. Georgia? Yeah. Right do, now. Do you want to go with me? You could be executive producer. What that means. What? You could yeah, carry the tripod. <laughs> Go teach. We better, we better turn you towards Mrs. Seamers here, Alex. Does that mean I get to be rain? Okay, let's do it. It's the last day. Hi, Hi, Mr. Hadley. Over, Hi, Mr. Hadley. Over to Lee. Hi, It's a Excuse me, no. What about your other kids? Hi. It's gonna show you. I couldn't understand it. You're gonna give me my board? Okay, this ought to be fun. Uh. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay. <laughs> Rain, payback's a terrible art thing. Are you ready to trade places? Can I have my name tag back? Ask her where your check's at, Reed. Uh, in my bank account. Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Friday, all day long. Yeah! The last day of school! So last day you basically just play games? Pretty much. Would you like to go see what the other classes are doing so you can make sure we're doing the same thing as all the other classes? <laughs> I'm just asking questions. I'm not making judgments. If, if you're feeling guilty about it, that's... that's. No, I'm not feeling guilty. <laughs> I just ask questions. And I don't know if I want to... You know, to make it a real good video, I would... You, you know... Um, go talk to the guy that shook him. Um, you want me to do that part for you? I would have to have somebody else do it. In, in all seriousness, because I thought about that, thought about that, and every time I think about it, I kind of get the... Do you think she'd do it? She'd shut your, her door in your face, don't you think? I think... Or do you think she'd do it now? I don't know if you'd even get oh, that. Dear. Yeah. But, oh man. Uh oh. But, oh man. It really is the last, your last day. day if you're getting to do that. I know it. Oh. No, I don't know. Okay, go. Go. What, what class is your daughter currently in, Mr. Hadley? Social studies. Oh, Keep okay. going. Look at me. Are we going to miss you? We are. You're right. No way. Yeah. No. You and your row, 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 row your boat. Can I call you on the phone and sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat with hey, you? no problem. Just right here. <laughs> if I keep them at home, I'll keep them at Now what do you want? <laughs> I think whatever he wants it to, I think he can 
help others with what he has, what has happened to him, with you doing the things that you do, with Natalie doing the things she does to help others learn what's happened, what can happen, you know, what your life and your family's life is about it since it's happened. That, uh, you know, I think he can do anything if he... I think he'll always be open and welcome wherever he goes and whatever he does. I really don't think his future holds very much. A lot. A lot, maybe. Lots of new friends, right? Um, you know he can feed himself, too. Yeah, I do know that. <laughs> I think that he'll touch a lot of people. I think that a lot of people are going to learn from him, hopefully. I'll be able to get more understanding about a lot of stuff. Well, I hope that in some time in the future that he will go live in a family or a house with lots of other people somewhat similar to him that um, are, have professionals there to take care of him. You know, as he gets bigger and older and, and um, because I think he loves whoever happens to be around him at the time. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I know he'd like to live with mommy and daddy until they died, but I don't think that's the way I, I don't think that's fair to him or mommy and daddy. So, that's what I think. What do you think his future holds for him? I don't know. But he's got to live somewhere. With you? Maybe once every weekend or something. Every other weekend, maybe something like that. Not all the time. Where do you think he's going to live? A place, as you guys once told me. That you're not going to keep him. <laughs> what do you mean we're not going to keep him? When like, he turns 18, you're going to put him like in a home. What do you think about that? I don't think it's very nice. Because you probably just like forget about him. I see Rain um, living in a group home with a bunch of other um, boys, or by that time men his age. Um, I see him enjoying, you know, watching TV with them and playing games and going to the store and things like that with them. Um, I see him enjoying doing things with his family, also, um, you know, movies, things like that. Um, I also see him working maybe at like a sheltered workshop environment is what I see him as far as vocational wise. Um, I think he would be probably a favorite worker of most of the people there because I know that most of my staff he's one of the favorites on the list even though we're not supposed to have favorites but he's definitely a fun kid. I don't know but I know whatever it is you are going to make people happy. And you are going to have so much fun, aren't you? Just playing with it! Yeah. I'm hoping he can live in some kind of group home and have friends and have, um, I don't know, a life he enjoys. Sometimes I don't think that his life with us is particularly enjoyable for him, you know. Seems like we have to tell him so often what he can't do. So, um, I just hope he finds some place where he can fit in and be happy.
he's gonna grow old. He's probably gonna gonna live in a place what that other people like him and people that he likes. And that'd be it. What else do you want to say? Anything else you want to say? Anything about anything? Right now is your opportunity to say, speak whatever's on your mind. My feet stink. <laughs> so to look into the future and say, what's it going to be like in 10 years? What's it going to be like in 20 years? It's just almost overwhelming. So you take it each day. You take it one day, and then the next. And that's all you can do. There are times we don't know how he's getting to one place from the other. You don't know how he's going to be transferred from school to another. Uh, does he need another operation? Okay, if he has an operation, then how are we going to, you know, transport him then if he's in a cast? Do we have a wheelchair? No, we don't have a wheelchair. So we just, we just don't know what the future holds. And, and if you look into the future too far, you can't enjoy the present. So we take a day at a time. We enjoy who he is now. We try to enjoy each other. I don't know. I'm new at this. It is in the shaded etchings when obstacles are brushed away with hope, a clearer picture emerges and begins to take shape, and from darkness, we see clarity. Much. That's too much. Uh, <clears throat> right. So it's been a good weekend. You were at rest, but all weekend, weren't you? So. Uh, okay. Dog. We got six minutes of tape to burn. What do you want to talk about? Okay. We're talking about the dog. What would you like to say about the dog? I spend all my days just watching my TV. What else can you do when there ain't nothing else in front of you? Newspapers stacked upon you, answering machines. Nobody really knows exactly what you're feeling, but everyone tells me that I gotta change my way. When you try to spread your wings and fly, you just hit the ground. When you try to crawl away, it was easier just to hang around. All the ways you should have went were the ones that you rejected. And the rain's down in the fall and you're out here unprotected. And you got enough sense to come out of the rain. And you're told, uh, I'm just trying to get something now. out of nothing. And if I stay too long, I'll catch my death or something. You're the one, you're the what they're one trying one to say here. is it's your fault. What? The rain keeps falling down and you let yourself get yeah. caught. But you don't praise the silhouettes of the ways that you rejected. Don't say a word, I know what he's expecting. You got enough sense to come out of the rain. You got enough sense to come out of the rain. You got enough sense to come out of the rain. Here, I got something to do. Call. 
Ain't got enough sense to come out of the what? rain. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't got enough sense to come out of the rain. Yeah. Ain't got enough sense Please. to come out of the rain. Please what? Please what? 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 Get up? Why? I just sat down. Please. Please get up. What, are we gonna do? what am I gonna do when I get up? You don't know? Okay. Right, get up. I'm getting up. Turn around. Mm. Now there's nothing on there. <laughs>